Do you love jam makers? No. Bro, I'm starting to look like a rat. My biggest pet peeve is people putting sugar into things that don't need sugar put into it. Yeah. Seriously, walk into any grocery store, close your eyes, do a 360, and then knock everything off a shelf, and then grab one thing. Look at one of the ingredients, and it's gonna be sugar. They really be putting sugar in tomato sauce. Oh. And this issue is rampant in the community where I live in when people make homemade things and then sell them on the side of the road. Specifically, jellies and jams. Sorry, I'm just really passionate about this. And every single summer, I want to buy one of these cute jars of jelly so I can put them on some banana bread. I read the ingredients and the first ingredient is sugar. And that's a red flag within itself. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? If there is more sugar than fruit in a jam, it's low quality and terrible, and it doesn't taste good. Putting sugar in a jam is like processing raw honey. When you process raw honey, there is no benefit to you. It takes more time, more money, more resources to make that honey, and then you can't sell it for as much. It's the same with jelly. You're going to add low quality ingredients to it and then not be able to sell it as much as you would if you only used high quality ingredients and it won't taste as good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make some jelly. Enjoy. Here is how you make jelly in a slightly ghetto way, but it's cheap and much healthier than buying Concord grape jelly. All you need is a juice of your choosing, gelatin, a jar to put it in, and then a vessel to stir everything in, and a measuring cup. That's pretty useful too. You wanna bring three cups of the juice to a boil. Then you want one cup of cold juice in a bowl, plus four gelatin packets. Now you whisk it all together. Now pour the boiling stuff into the cold stuff. Stir for five minutes. I'll pour it into the jar for overnight. Yeah, I completely ruined this. It came out pretty good, right? But the thing is, it's not jelly. I made jello. What I'd switch for next time, I would only use either one packet or two packet uh, because this stuff is way too thick. This is not spreadable at all. Yeah, this ain't gonna spread on anything. <laughs> Better luck next time. I did it the cheap way because didn't have money to buy actual fruit. Fruit is expensive, holy crap. Yes.